Hello everybody, Russian Batman here, back with another video. And this is actually a part two to my Suicide Squad showcase. In that first showcase, I showed off, uh, it was Peacemaker, uh, Bloodsport, and King Shark. So if you want to see those figures more in detail, you can watch the first uh, video. But this is the second one. So yeah, I basically just did the rest of the, the main squad of the Suicide Squad. So yeah, I'm going to show them off. So first, uh, you know, let me just get the least interesting ones out of the way. And I in that first video, I kind of lied. I said I wouldn't make Rick Flag, and I said I wouldn't make Ratcatcher. But I made Rick Flag, and I made Ratcatcher. So I, I kind of lied. But, you know... You get the figure. So, boom. Here's here's Ratcatcher. I modified Sebastian a little. So, it's like the proper coloration. I had this in my first showcase. But the, the colors are just the normal Lego rat. And it wasn't the gray rat. Which I think, I believe, is in the movie. So, I just painted the rat up. And I, I gave Ratcatcher 2 um, her weird... A uh, rat controlling thing out of just a microphone that's just been you know painted white a gray microphone with a white tip and yeah she has the hooded look with the mask on and uh yeah i think this this torso is like some like star wars focus um is some like star wars something and but yeah i mean pretty simple figure but i kind of just wanted to do it i just really wanted to round out the team because I, I really like that movie so you know boom rat catcher all right, another pretty basic figure is, um, like I said, I said I wouldn't make Rick Flag, but I did. So, like I said, I lied. And the real reason I made this guy is probably the only reason is because I had the batoon. I had like shit ton of petunia pigs from that C uh, from the whole um, minifigure. Uh, it was the CMF. Yeah, the Looney Tunes CMF. When I did the whole onion eating thing, that was a pain in the ass. But I did the whole onion thing, and I got tons of petunias. Well, I got tons of every other figure too, but petunias. The petunia pig had the the yellow. You see, even the back is petunias, but it's the the yellow dual in the yellow dual molded arms, which works great for Rick Flag's shirt. So we made a quick Rick Flag. He has that weird rabbit on his shirt with the sign and the cape, and yeah, gave him some like military looking boots and legs. Don't have there's no shotgun piece, so I just I made this by just um getting a what was it? It's um a spear gun piece. Just I just removed the um just removed the spear part, so it's just kind of like an elongated gun. So I thought that worked. Uh, the face I had just it was just the Chris Pratt angry face. I extended the eyebrows and I got some scratches on there. I thought it looked good for Rick Flag. Um, but yeah, then that hair is just that kind of brown, uh, generic Harry Potter hair. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, that is Rick Flag. So, boom, now on to the actual interesting minifigures. Um, first up, let me, let me show off Harley Quinn. Probably one, the one I'm probably most proud of from this video is Harley Quinn. I really like how this turned out. Now, this is... She wears two major outfits in the movie. There's the outfit she wears at the end of the movie, which is like that princess dress as she likes to as she likes to call it. And then there's the um, you know, the other one that like was in like the beginning. And I believe she actually um she that came in a set, I think, or at least a version that looks similar to it came in a set. So yeah, so I didn't want to just make that again, so I decided to make this uh, version instead. Now, she has this javelin piece. Now, the thing that kind of annoys me a little bit is when everyone makes, like, javelin man or, you know, javelin to give to Harley, they always use the spear piece. But, listen, a spear is not a javelin. A spear and a javelin are very different. A spear has a tip that goes out like that and then back in. A javelin is just a stick with a sharp end. There was there's no it's like it's like yeah, like like it's a toothpick, okay? There's nothing no spear action going on. So I just did this instead. Um 
probably you know not that accurate, but still, I think it kind of looks good for her um, for the javelin that she gets from Javelin Man. I'm just gonna move this out of the way for now, so you get a look at the rest of the figure. I uh, see here I, I sculpted this hair piece. Well, not the entire thing. It was a pigtail hair piece, but I sculpted some like little things on the side, so she got like you know that the side here that goes over and whatnot. Um, that head was painted. I painted the little blood detail. Also, that arm. I'm really happy with how this arm came out. She has those tattoos on the bottom of her arm. I think that looked really nice. Also, uh, some, you know, just detail there. Some more tattoos there. And I believe she actually, yeah, so if you move this hair piece, a little bit of tattoo detailing there as well. So, did some tattoo de detailing. Also, with her legs. You notice that one is like partially exposed and the other isn't. That's to kind of like replicate how you know she ripped one half of the dress and whatnot. And it's these actually these uh, legs are I mean they're purists basically they're not painted um, to make it look like they're dual molded. They're actually dual molded. This one was from Monkey Kid. It was the Monkey Kid leg the with the black on the bottom, red on top. And then this one was from like Minnie Mouse or something. You know. So, um, Nightbricks, if you're watching this video, where's, where's my purest Harley Quinn custom? Come on, I used, and also the dress is just from Petunia. So yeah, come on, purest. Where, where's the, I'm not purest, um, uh, Nightbricks, Night, but where are those purest customs? Come on, you can totally make a purest Harley. Go, go do that or, or else, you know, it, it'd be like that. All right. Then last, but certainly not least is polka dot man yes the man the myth the legend polka dot man if you don't know lego's actually already made a polka dot man before for the lego batman movie i believe that's actually where i saw polka dot man first was from the lego batman movie and he was in the cmf so i don't have that figure so yeah so i decided to make my own polka dot man see here for the arms Came, kind of gave her that fake dual molding. This is a silver arm that I just painted on some white for the top part. That's to kind of replicate his little thing that he uses to, you know, shoot his polka dots out of. And yeah, that. So yeah, I just painted the goggles. Probably should have made goggles, but I just painted those on. Figured Lego would probably do the same. So I'm like, you know, screw it. Those dual molded legs are actually, I think they're from a CMF. Um, they, they are from something, I believe they're from, um, they're from like s some snake whisperer or some crap from like some CMF. I don't know. Actually, I stole them from a friend's house. I think, I think I saw this figure and it had the dual molded legs. I'm like, that looks cool for Link. And I used it for Link at the time. So yeah, but I don't know. I think they're from a CMF. I don't, if you guys know, it, it was a snake charmer, I believe. But yeah, so it's so, ah, sorry, let me focus. Um, yeah, then just painted on the belt and, and these lines and then paint on the polka dots. It's pretty easy, but I still like how it looks. So now, as you can see, we have the full squad, which I am really happy with. Well, obviously the, the second team, not the first team that spoiler alert for the movie just died immediately. But yeah, we got the whole squad up. So yeah, to list them off, Polka Dot Man, Rat Catcher 2, King Shark, uh, Rick Flag, Harley Quinn, um, uh, Bloodsport, and then Peacemaker. So those are all of them. I made sure not to forget their names because every time I forget someone's name in a video, people remind me over and over that what their names actually are. And I'm glad you're telling me, but at the same time, it kind of was rhetorical, kind of not. But like, you know, I, I don't need everyone telling me. Maybe like one person can remind me, but not everyone. Because I had like everyone telling me that Porky Pig was the name of the pig because I forgot it in the Looney Tunes video. And yeah, I'm like, that was like every comment I've been getting on that video is just, it's Porky, it's Porky. His name is Porky. I know his name is Porky, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not going to make, make that mistake again because then everyone's just going to ridicule me to, to death, okay? So... Yeah, and if I do get a name wrong, and just check the comments, see if someone already reminded me, and 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 we'll we'll be good, okay? You don't all have to, you know, tell me at once. But 
yeah, uh, go watch Suicide Squad. It was a great movie. Also, uh, Mission X, his, his design is generic, get wrecked, nerd. And yeah, just have a great day. And uh, yeah, sayonara. Ciao.